Hi, I'm going to read a book to you today. It's called How to Babysit a Grandpa. Here's the cover. It was written by Jean Reagan, illustrated by Lee Wildish. Illustrated means whoever wrote, the, whoever drew the pictures. And in fact, here's some of the pictures on the, before we start the story. How to Babysit a Grandpa by Jean Reagan and illustrated by Lee Wildish. That's the title page right there. All right. Babysitting a grandpa is fun, if you know how. When your grandpa rings the doorbell, what should you do? Hide. There's grandpa ringing the bell. If you look over here on the, on the right, you see you're hiding in the living room. You might wiggle and want to giggle, but don't yell, Grandpa, not yet. Shh. How to stay quiet? Pretend you're a shark waiting for lunch. Act like a pirate spy. Be as still as a lion statue. And as soon as your grandpa says, I give up, pop out and shout, here I am. Next page. When your mom and dad leave, pat your grandpa's hand and say, don't worry, they always come back. Then right away, ask him if he's hungry. Snacks for grandpa. Ice cream topped with cookies, olives served on fingertips, anything, dip, anything dipped in ketchup, cookies topped with ice cream. So over here on the left, there's your mom and dad leaving. And on the right, there's all the snacks for grandpa. Next page. After snacks, it's time to take your grandpa for a walk. If it's cold, bundle up. When it's sunny, sunscreen up, especially the top of his head. Remember to grab his hand when you cross the street and remind him to look both ways. What to do on a walk? Step over sidewalk cracks. Look for lizards cool rocks and dandelion puffs. And if there's a puddle or a sprinkler, show him what to do. Next page. When you're back at home, have him shut his eyes while you get ready and then how to entertain a grandpa. Somersault across the room. Put on a scary play. Show off your muscles. And you may want to have some extra tricks because grandpas always clap for more. There you are somersaulting and being scary and showing your muscles and grandpa clapping. Next page. Pretty soon, he'll want to join the fun. So play with your grandpa too. How to play with a grandpa. March with your drum, give him a kazoo. Build a pirate cave, but be, make sure that you can both fit. Watch out for sharks in the water. Don't let your feet touch the floor. Next page. When your grandpa says nap time, it's time for his nap. The best way to put him to sleep is to have him read a long book over and over and over and ah. 
Even if you're sleepy too, babysitters need to stay awake. So while he naps, draw a picture for his fridge. What to draw for a grandpa? A pirate shark battle? Your favorite dinosaur? You and your grandpa splashing in a puddle. Then, oh, well, here, here's the page. There he is, reading the book and falling asleep. And then on the right, you're drawing pictures for Grandpa. Then, wake up your Grandpa. Now, you might want to try lifting him with your muscles tickling his nose and his toes, singing on top of old Smokey, softly, then louder, then louder. Next page. Now I ask, Will mom and dad be home soon? Your grandpa will look at his clock and say, yikes, soon, very soon. Now good babysitters can't leave messes. So turn on some bouncy music and get to work. There's you and, you and your grandpa cleaning up the room, putting away all your stuff. Next page. When you hear your mom and dad grab your grandpa's hand and pull him behind the couch, show him how to be quiet. You can check back how to stay quiet earlier in the book. And whisper, see grandpa, they always come back. There's mom and dad coming in the door. And you and grandpa hiding behind the couch. Next page. Now comes the hardest part, goodbye time. How to say goodbye to a grandpa. Surprise him with the picture. Give him a hug and a kiss, a hug and a kiss, a hug and a kiss. And ask, when can I babysit you again? And that was for Jane and John and their grandpa John and grandma Janice by the writer. And then for Roy Wildish and Dennis Gates, who shall always be remembered, that was by the, the illustrator. And that's the end. I hope you liked it.